First, our top local story at 5.30, cracking down on parking in the capital city. As the city of Providence announces, it's stepping up its parking enforcement, and it could affect your plans this weekend. City officials say it has, it's something they have to do to make cash, but one store owner tells us it may hurt the bottom line. Eyewitness News reporter Nick Nerosu is live in Providence now with more on what she's uncovered. Well, Mike, Aaron, people parked in Providence right now are getting pretty lucky because at this time of day, most of the parking enforcement officers have gone home for the day, which means no one's checking the meters. The city's parking administrator says he's hoping to beef up patrols and even enforce parking on Saturdays. See the meter, but don't park from here to corner. And if you see her walking by, it may be time to pay up. It is 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., whether it is a metered spot or a non-metered spot. Perota says Providence makes more than a million dollars a year from meters, but they lose about a third of that revenue. That's because enforcement officers start to go home around 3.30, 4 o'clock, which means for more than two hours, no one's watching the meters. People who do park, whether it's at a meter or at a signed location, know that the odds are you know, they can park without either A, having to feed the meter or worry about getting a ticket for parking. So the city is negotiating with the union to change enforcement officers' hours. They also plan to begin Saturday metered parking, which downtown store owners say will hurt businesses already struggling. And people know that they can come down on Saturday to Providence, and they've known this for the last decade, and not be ticketed so that they can shop at our stores. That's the one time they don't have to be afraid of Providence. And now, just to get whatever they're going to get in revenue, they're going to really hurt us. Now, this is not going to be good news for those business owners. The parking administrator says he is hoping to begin Saturday metered parking later this summer. And as we mentioned, the city of Providence makes a little more than a million dollars a year from meters. We also learned that they make more than seven million dollars in parking tickets. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. We're working new details tonight on a former Rhode Island court employee accused in a drunk driving crash. Police say Sherry D'Amico was intoxicated when she crashed into a car with several children earlier this month in Warwick. Several of the children were injured. And now the Attleboro Sun Chronicle is reporting that D'Amico is facing a probation violation charge in connection with a drunk driving arrest in Attleboro last year.